All right, so we're going to watch my Apollo Kage set now. Um, probably, I mean, we're just going to watch it through. I think I'm going to probably put some notes down on what I could have done better in every set. Apollo Kage, definitely. Um, Apollo Kage, Omega, and uh, Anathema, the only stream sets I got. And those are the ones we're going to watch this stream. But this is going to be the video for me watching Apollo Kage. How's it going? Humbar, Rain, Talon. Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. But yeah, we're just going to watch it through. I'm going to probably turn the commentary off because I want to... I'm probably going to be talking a lot, so yeah. This is a very good set for me to watch. It is a good set in general. Going into it, uh, Apollo Kage has been known as a Mario killer, and I said this in uh, said this to him because he's literally beaten every top Mario, and the one who got the closest is Zenyu. Like, Sam T used to give him trouble, but now Sam T doesn't give him as much trouble anymore. He's beaten him every single time after the one time he lost. And then, like, um... Karama couldn't figure it out in Riptide. I think pretty sure Wizzy has lost too. Um, and Zenyu was close, the closest by a lot. And then lost game five last hit. And there were three things that I really wanted to go to uh, figuring out. One, I don't get up tilted. If I can't get up tilted, his ground moves suck to kill me. Because up smash sucks and is able to get easy to get hit out. And forward smash is way too slow. So literally, all I have to worry about if Snake's on the ground is up tilt, which is busted. But that's all I have to worry about. Otherwise, I feel like it was just like... When I, when I watched the Zenyu set, I feel like the biggest thing was... Uh, you don't have to get a bunch of Mario combos on Snake. Because when you hit him, you will just do a lot. Like, and then, I don't think I got one Mario combo that was, like, busted. Um, I'm pretty sure all I got was just pokes the entire set. Which is kind of crazy. Um, because whenever you hear a Mario win, you think he's just, oh, he cheesed him. Or especially Mario upsets, you think he's like, oh, he's got cheeses on, cheeses on him. But I feel like I didn't get any cheese this entire set. I feel like sure I didn't kill him, like, sub 100 any stock I killed him. Maybe on the last game, but that was a different thing. But yeah, kind of playing really good here. Um, here's the up tilt. Up tilt is so horrifying because it's so big. And I'm just like, yeah, I, I don't know. That rolling's so weird. Um, because of the explosives, yeah. Uh, I also notice AK is fantastic at pairing. Like, um, to the point where it was like, I had to super delay my aerials and max space them to get to hit him. Yeah, he fell for the Mario thing. I gotta remember that if Mario's running, uh, <laughs> Running to do reverse up smash that it will just not hit me if I he tries to grab me. I don't know why he tried to fair me there. That's crazy. But yeah, I was like, okay, what? Snake's a constant matchup check, and snakes play different all the time. What are the match? What are the things that are scary? All right, C four constantly. All right, up tilt constantly. All right, uh, Nikita constantly. Okay. Also, yeah, I didn't get uh hit by any Nikita edge guards either, which is insane. Um. Yeah, uh, I decided to shield a lot because I realized if Snake grabs me, there's no... I'd rather have Snake grab me than getting up tilted because it's not true. And his grab's not fantastic. Um, yeah. Okay, now Jin. I should have up smashed the hell out of him. Why did I not up smash? I, I literally was like right there and I didn't up smash him. That's wild. I should... What am I doing? Oh my god. I'm nervous. That's what it is. I'm nervous game one. That's I'm I'm a high alert. Okay, I did get hit by that Nikita. I forgot I really forgot about that one. But yeah. Um But yeah, when it comes to zoner types, it's always Um Snakes grabs very big. It's not about it, the size. It's the lagginess. It's not a non-committal grab to go for. Like, uh, you'll see later in the set that that's why I punished him a lot. Like, a ton. Because I tried to bait grabs a lot. Mario has the frame data to, like, if Snake does a grab, then I can either kill him or do a lot of damage. It's a, That's why it's, like, it's different from, like, a Samus or ZSS grab where they can pivot grab and it's like, oh, shoot. See? Like, I can get away. 
yeah. But this first game, I think I just let it last too long. And I ran right into that up tilt. That was a... Dude, that up tilt was crazy. Because I think I slipped off by accident. I was like, what? When I saw you not up smash, I also got on my TV up smash. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't up smash. It definitely was... Uh, nerves. <laughs> I got it. It was definitely nerves. There. But yeah, game one PS2. Uh, after game one, I was like, man, I'm playing pretty good. Well, I'm playing really good. It's possible. And the confidence started to rise because I realized that the things I was thinking about weren't the problem. It was more like I got hit by a lot of... Oh, shoot. I got hit by a lot of stuff. Nerves go crazy in tournaments. Yeah. Nerves go crazy because it's like... It makes me overthink my punishes. And I don't need to overthink my punishes. First game was definitely uh, adaptation. So I went to, uh, went to town because he banned... Uh, small Battlefield, Smashville, and I think Battlefield? Mario Beat Snake? No, it's even. Um, in fact, it's... Do you care about Down Tilt at all? I care about Down Tilt a lot. I feel like... Down Tilt is the longest lasting move that Snake has, but if I'm jumping, he's not going to go for it. Also, look at it. Hold up. Hold up. Look at that combo. Ooh, the tech chase down tilt. New control scheme. <laughs> Making tilt easier. You already know. But yeah, in, until like this set, everyone's been like, oh, the Mario's been debating if Snake beats Mario. Which I don't think so, but Apollo Kage beats Mario's, so that's for sure. Okay. I should have. 100,000%. This match was so bad, I could beat the Palu Kage with Mario. Okay, yeah, all right. Do it ahead, Chase. You, like, you're not going to go Palu. Like, that shit's a lot easier. Yep. All right. I was so proud of this uh, this parry because I was so sure. Whenever a snake rushes up like this, this parry, this, if I don't let go of my shield, it won't hit me. The up tilt won't hit me. But the parry... Gives me so many frames to F smash. Now, I knew that watching the Zenyu set and the Sam T set. So I just flashed my shield and I was right. Avoiding punishing up tilts. You know what? I'll have to give it to Oni. Is it Oni from Tennessee? I learned so much how to deal with up tilt because he forced me to. It's wild. How's it going, Strides? Good to see you. Hi, Quick. Also good to see you. Oh, yeah. People were asking me about why I was doing these random-ass capes. So, my thought process was if I do a cape right here, um, I can't get grabbed. <laughs> or I can't get I can't get grabbed or down-tilted, and I can do a move after. I've been trying to do that a little bit in matches, but it looks so corny. Yeah, now he's spamming. And I'm just, you, you can see how terrified I am. Also, Santa Paz's stream was going crazy, but you can see how terrified I am up tilt because I'm literally doing everything in my power to not get up tilted. I'm just jumping around, poking a lot, hoping for the best. I, I'm not doing, oh. up. <laughs> just, I really, I got so scared I did double jump cape. God damn. That was awful. That was, that was the worst option I could have done, but I was just so scared. And you can't do a back air going behind him. How early can up tilt kill Mario? On town, I think 100 or something. It's pretty early. Yep, if a snake has grenade in his hand, what? If snake has grenade in his hand, he's only going to grab. I've only seen snakes grab, or they down throw the grenade, but I've never seen them do anything other than that, so... Throw, throwing fireballs, because even though I can throw Flood to stop it, throwing fireballs just makes it so you can't jump with it in hand. And every every time I heard the explosion, I pressed grab. I hate... Snake dash attack is so tilting, because it just decides to cross up sometimes. I, like, I would have 100% killed him if this, this dash attack didn't cross up. But he was so close that it was like... 
So fucked up, man. Oh, look at that slightness. That slight hop. Ooh. The down smash was panic because I missed my jab button, <laughs> but it still worked. Yep. And that was again. Ah, thank goodness Mario up be so good. Yeah, okay. Oh, so another thing right here. I was I was like 900 percent sure because I've played against Pip Snake so much, and Pip does this all the time where he puts a C4 where he thinks like, oh yeah, there's no way you're gonna roll towards C4. Bitch, I'm up a stock. <laughs> I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm going for it and avoiding it. I always roll towards C4. Maybe I shouldn't tell snakes that. I always roll towards C4 if it's on the ground because no snake goes for it. Okay, maybe not always. Now that I say it, I probably shouldn't always do that. But you know, I know it's a, it's, I know it's a bait because of Pip. That roll was bad though. He could have died. Yeah, exactly. He could have. But I knew he wouldn't. I knew he wouldn't. That's why I did it. That's what it's like. I could have been. I was in a scary situation and I knew he wouldn't. He could have, but I knew he wouldn't. That probably not works against him again. If he notices. It's mostly like. This is. It's not like a common setup to happen. It's more like, oh, there's no way you're going to do that again. Plus, it's, it's like, I want him to think about it. I don't want it to... I'd rather he think about it than he doesn't have to think about it. You know? Because I still have other options. I just did it that time because I knew he wouldn't. Yep. Alright, so we get into Mashy. I was so proud of this. I I was like, I'm such in a mashy mood. Let me go for the <laughs> the no back ear. Because if I went for back ear, he probably could have grabbed me. Because it was really close. But I did nothing. I just went down and spot dodge. Because I felt I felt how mashy I was being. So I'm taking the game. That was like a mind games really matter. That was Smash Ultimate. Spot dodge spot dodge canceling is fucked up. But yeah. Spot canceling is so fucked up. So it's just like, okay, now you've been worrying about, you've been right about my Mario back ears for the entire set. I'm not gonna do a Mario back ear this time. I'm gonna spot does cancel. And if I'm wrong, I'm not dead. Okay, I think I have to go a little bit further because we were really thinking about it. Bear with negative 100, <laughs> I get to buffer spot dodge outside. Busted. So funny when Mario is not considered top tier sometimes. Okay, yeah, we have to go a bit ahead because I was really thinking about what to ban here. I was like, um, yeah, I knew not to ban FD. I just, I think I banned Battlefield, Small Battlefield, and Smashville. He wasn't grabbing that shit. Yeah. It was just, you were, we were hyped up on the situation. That's always, it's like, it's like that. Yeah, I went for the fair here for damage because I knew, I knew it was going to get exploded, but... Now he's at 86. Oh. Practice that in the lab. It's not even that smart. It's just like it does way more damage. Now you can I, like you can back throw snake and uh when he has grenade right next to him. I think the fair was worth it. Yeah, it was like a way more damage to go for fair than go for another upper. So And now he's at 144. Like that's the crazy thing. Snake takes so much damage when you hit him with Mario. It's nuts. And yeah, I noticed that too. If you back throw with Snake has a grenade on the ground, you can combo off of it. And I think that's hilarious. See? Yep, yep, there it is. I, I know this, the grabbing, because I was shielding a lot the first two games. Why does the only back throw is so stupid? Exactly. It's so good. And it's like crazy, because like this whole set was just feeling like all these ideas I had in my head that work against Snake just ended up working. That's hype. Yep, I knew that's a thing. You know, UFO, because every snake will be reverse the doubt, be reverse grenade there. 
UFO helps me practice that a lot. There's definitely something I've learned from playing all the snakes I've played in Alabama. That very much helps. Could have up throw a made a grenade kill from from the top. I don't know if I could have. He would have gone really high. Why did I go for fair? <laughs> what was I, I was feeling that shit. It was just telling me how bad it was to be worse like that. Yeah, it's bad. Like, there, there's no reason to. You don't have a hitbox below you. You'll probably die. Yeah, you went for the grab grab. But then, that time I rolled instead of trying to get up attack, which is slow. I... How did this grenade hit me? I was so low, but it's still... Oh, because it fell. That's so dumb. Yeah, you couldn't grab my... So, yeah, you can parry, parry up to a lot of... Uh... You can parry up to a lot of Mario back airs, but you can't parry up to a crossing up ones. It's very hard. Got you Mario Kart for the last time? You already know. I'm going to play Mario Kart soon. Though. Extreme! How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. I hate that RNG, man. Oh my god. I did so much damage. Yeah, he was really hyped up on grabbing me because, of course, you are. I'm at 162. So I was like, I'm just going to play around like that. And you know what's funny? When they, so this grab ledge thing happens, when this grab ledge thing happens, I swear. Um. Hold on. When, like, when we both grab ledge, I swear, like, people don't do roll on anymore. People just mash jump. So I always just press near here. It's like the safest thing and gets him off staging him. It's nasty. I don't know why he was double jumping there. That's very strange. Yeah, I know why he took me to FD, but for, like... Um, realistically, like... Because I wasn't getting kills off the top, this was probably the worst pick for him. Like, it was mostly mo me poking, and I have so many room, almost room to poke and juggle on this stage. I don't know who he's trying to fare here. Man wanted, like, the clip clip. <laughs> I don't know. I might be was panic right there, yeah. Especially, but if it hit, though, I probably would take, like, 60 if it hit. <laughs> Every sink spot dodges after they miss back here. And if I would... There's so many moments that I was like, if I was wrong... Um... If I was wrong, it was fine. Luckily, that's just Mario bullshit. You playing mad good this match? Yeah. I'm saying! I, I like every... After game one, I was like, they're kind of playing kind of good. I wonder if I could have... Eh, no, I feel like... like I, I mean, I could have gone for up B, but I really just wanted to keep that up. I should have flooded. I should have flooded him right here. God, I was going to be reverse, but I was too low to get there. Look at this. Yeah, you missed his reverse grab. Cool. I missed didn't get hit by any C4s. I'm smooth. Nope, you're not up tilting me. I'd rather take the grab. Every, s that's the Odie. I learned that in the Odie set too. The double up tilt gets bodied by a smash. I'm surprised. I'm not. I shouldn't be surprised that kid. Of course he tried it. Every snake does that, and I hated lose. I hated because most of the time, I think a year ago, I would have jumped. Uh, I would have tried to jump at him. I'm like, nah. I'm not. I'm not dying to this again. <laughs> I refuse. What's up, Ramon? You can ask you. The double up tilt, I refuse. A year ago, that was me running towards it and getting hit. He skill checked you when he's down so much, I'm shocked. It, was, it definitely looked like, looked like a panicked option. Like, he just wanted to kill me. He hasn't been killing me early all set. Because I, I, I'm just... Because I'm like, I constantly... I didn't know Mario could counter double up tilt. Like, F-Smash just moves your hurt box back enough that you can forward smash the hell out of it. How do you know what to do in certain situations disadvantage because it feels like the only thing? It's more like you pay attention to what they want more than what you should do. And I feel like with Hero, it's just hard because your disadvantage is just worse than mine. Like, people are scared of Mario Aerials coming down, or they're very weary of it. So, they're like, I can constantly think about, okay, what are they looking for I'm what I'm doing, or what are they trying to hit me with? And I can make a decision based off that. Sometimes my disadvantage goes really dumb. 
Yeah, hero doesn't have any some whack shit, though. <laughs> like, you can barely have any drift. Your moves are slow. No one's scared of your aerials. It's like, people can just mash at you. But Wario, it's like, my moves are fast. They're safe on shield. Like, they, I'm always going to have people worry about it. Let me use it to beat Shield Grab. Exactly. And I definitely would have done Shield Grab before. But, nah, not me. Also, wait. Why did, I, I did not pay attention to this first stock at all. <laughs> I think Hero just abusing trying. Yeah, I, I think trying to get that that is the Humbar special. If I if I haven't played with Humbar so much, I wouldn't have thought to go for it. But it's because Humbar go does that all the damn time. <laughs> that smash was BS? No, 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 no. Because he would because he pulled grenade and he tried to do it. No, I'm not I'll take that shit. I got used to that from Humbar, dude. How did you? How did you not trade this grenade here? It, I mean, even if it did, you would have still died. Thank goodness, it was the, it was the only destroyed I got, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Humbar. I appreciate it. Yep, he has to go. This is why I'm noticing. He has to go for grab. I am so surprised. Oh yeah, this is new control scheme helping out my F tilts. My F tilts. You definitely win matchup. Yeah, I played it enough to know what was going on, but it was still scary because, you know, AK beating so many of it. He's not getting anything. Yeah, I knew if I'm shielding, it's frustrating because he has to go for grab and grab's not safe. And he went for grab a lot. So it's like he either has to jump back and give me the space to do anything. Like he probably should have just taken more, t taken his time a lot more because he was trying to rush a lot of this. What did you change my controls? I made um, my X. I made my X change from attack to special. Went to tilt stick and did high sensitivity instead of low. The biggest thing is the tilt stick, but yeah. Especially my 164. I actually feel more at peace with my 164 because the main thing they're going for is up tilt and grab, and I can deal with both of those. You finally got the fair. That fair was weird. <laughs> <laughs> and I went for down throw fair. When I hit this down throw fair, the next room was screaming, dude. The next room was losing their mind. And I'm like, of course I, of course. Because no snake, no snake air dodges. They will pull grenade. They will pull grenade and I will just, and that works. Rewind it. All right. Hold on. Yeah. So... Right here, he pulls a grenade. I did the, the fair hits first. It will always hit first. Right here, yeah. The fair hit first, and it's like right here. <laughs> Look at the grenade. Literally, it looks like the grenade should have hit first, but the fair hit first, and then I blew up. That's so funny. RNG coming through, yeah. The nade isn't able to hit when he's in his hand, yeah. It's so nice. And then you pick a Mario apart. Mario's so sick. Hey, if you, the Snake matchup is as long as you don't worry about how much damage you're doing, because Snake is going to take a lot of damage. I read the hell out of this roll, though. I was, I was feeling myself at this point. I was like, oh, why did I not get that? He was stressed, too. That was such a panic. I think he panicked Kita because he was just trying to mash. <laughs> and then he went for the fair, dude. He went for the fair because he went for the play, and I was like, nope. No. I don't even know why I fared. I don't even remember feeling it. He really did try it. That's like the whole set, I feel like AK wasn't able to get any of the cheese that he can get. He didn't get to kill me early with forward smash or Nikita or any of that stuff. Wild. And then I'm like, that makes me become the first Mario in a long time to beat him, which is kind of insane. Um, but I gotta say, I have to thank Smacky, gotta thank Oni, gotta thank Humbar. 
I learned a lot from playing those snakes. We have a lot of snakes in Huntsville. Um, so I definitely got the experience, and my game plan worked. Um, I could tell by I, Greg, so that's why he was a loser. Yep, because I beat him. I could tell with I, Greg, that I was playing good. With Chunky Kong, I could tell I was playing great. And then with Apollo Kage, I was like... I was like, everything I'm thinking of is happening. I'm not letting him get any of the bullshit. I think the only snake thing he got the entire set was the one up till he ran on my roll. And that was it. Good shit, that was nice. Thank you, Strides. Honestly, um, I went into it not thinking I could. Not, not thinking I couldn't win, but like... Thinking it's gonna be extraordinarily hard for me to win. Like, that was gonna be the hardest person at the tournament to beat. And somehow I did it. And that's kind of hype. 